Bedia Veli, Stormy Walaka Tumbali, Chavani Lila Wati, Missy Wati. Oh, when I pull up a call, you yaka yaka, and your body was just fire, fire, and God, I couldn't resist you. I couldn't resist you. When I pull up a call, you yaka yaka, and your body. Yo, today we are learning Kachumbari by Quakes Music right after this. Yeah. Yo, we'll be back. Uh, Kachumba is a very beautiful song that has been trending and uh, took quite some time to to give you these chords, much as people have been requesting for it. But nevertheless, here we are. So the song is originally in the key of F sharp. But, uh, you know, I had... Uh, bar chords so let's get straight into our open chords and i'm going to start with a key of g uh first of all the progression is a one a five a six and a four it's the same pattern throughout throughout the song so you play a one g which is a g you play a d which is a five an E minor which is a 6 and your C which is a 4 so if you're using so fast this is the Do this is the So the La and the Fa I said Javeli she tell me what I got you Bali Vanyeli Rawati Say what? Oh, when I could have a call, your yaka yaka, and your body was just fire, fire. God, I couldn't resist you. Oh, I couldn't resist you. When I could have a call, your yaka. So it's, it's the progression is basically very, very simple. Okay. Uh, I won't delay there. Uh, moving on, let's move to the key of C. So your C becomes the Do, the G becomes the So. The A minor becomes the La, and the F becomes the Fa. So, se ya veli, shte omi wa ya kachumbali, shavani ri la wati, se wati. Oh, when I kula wa kuali o ya ka ya ka, no body was just fire. I couldn't resist. So in the key of C, you play your C, the 1, the G, which is the 5, the 6, which is the A minor, and the F, which is your number 4. So it's quite simple. Uh, moving on to the key of D. So your D becomes your 1. Your A becomes your 5. The B minor becomes your 6. And the G becomes your number 4. If it's if the so far that you're using, this is the Do, So, A minor. The B minor is the La. And the Fa is your G. Yeah, that's the key of D. Uh, if you're interested in the key of A. Now the 
uh, uh, what makes it weird on what makes it a little complicated is that the minor which is the f sharp minor but nevertheless if you know how to play it the progression is one the a the e which is the five F sharp minor which is the 6 and the D which is your number 4 Just freestyling. Uh, so basically, that's the progression: one, five, six, and a four, respective of which whichever key you're using. If you know the one, and you know the, you know the five, you know the six and the four, then you're good to go. Okay. Now let's look at our right hand pattern. Now we are looking at the right hand pattern. The strumming pattern uh, is uh, could be a little complicated if you're just a learner and you don't know how to strum. And mind you, I'm using a pick. I'll do a lesson on a pick. Uh, if you're using a finger or uh, rather fingers, you can, there's a way I, you can also strum. But today I'm, I'm choosing to use a pick. Uh, I'm using the key of G, so I'm playing a G. I'm slowing it down, then the D, the E minor, and the C. Let me slow it down. See the up and down. Let me make it a little slower. D, E minor. If you notice, whenever you're going to another chord, you start with a down. Up, down, up, down, then the D down, up, down, up, down, E minor, then the C. Remember, you can always pause so that you practice and make it better. Right hand pattern G D E minor then the C faster. Remember, the right hand is also a hand that you need to grow with practice. It's not just the left hand that you should concentrate on. The right hand is equally important. Remember, remember, uh, you don't just wake up one day and you're, you're playing beautifully. You know, it's something that takes time to build. So don't be so harsh with yourself. No, be a little slow. Allow yourself to grow uh, gradually. Before you know it, you'll be good to go. Otherwise, I love you so much. Uh, remember to subscribe your subscriptions mean a lot uh, every time that you make a subscription it means that whenever I post a new video you are notified okay so uh, if you're having any questions please leave them in the comment section let me know okay if there's any song that you want me to show you the chord progression please just put it put it in the comment section I uh, tell the world about our channel uh, it will mean so much uh, I love you guys so much. Please take care. I wish you the best. I love you.